Dude, 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 you don't stick a fork in your dick. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? So a 70 year old man has stuck a fork into his pee hole. He stuck it right up in there, and he had to go to the hospital and get it removed. Here's a picture of what happened. It's a good thing he didn't put it in pointy side first, because then he would have just been stabbing his dick. Apparently, he stuck this fork up inside his dick for the pleasure. What kind of pleasure do you get from that? The pleasure of knowing that you'll never piss straight again? Doctors removed the fork with some lube and forceps. They got right up in there and pulled it out. And there was no other damage done. Except maybe to his pride. And I bet his pee hole's a little stretched out. It's true though, some people get pleasure from penis penetration. Penis penetration pleasure. I know this for a fact and I found out at a young age and no, I didn't jam anything inside my dick. One of my buddies sent me a porno and he was like, yo, check out this hot porno, man. And of course I checked it out. And let me tell you, it wasn't a hot porno. It was a girl jamming a sharp, thin dildo into a guy's penis and she was just working it like just twisting it and going in and out and like really fast and hard and and he was fucking loving it this guy was just having the time of his life it was fucked up you can't unsee things like that even just thinking about it right now my urethra is tightening up as if it wasn't bad enough that this 70 year old man jammed a fork in his dick but on top of that it took him 12 hours to work up the courage to finally go to the hospital and get it removed when he first got there he was like yeah my uh, penis is bleeding i'm having problems and then he finally just fessed up and was like I shoved a fork in my dick. And I'm proud of this seven year old because he actually told them the true story. Most people that get things jammed in their body and stuck in there, they just make up some stupid lie. Like 90% of them are like, oh, I fell on that fork. I, I had a boner and I fell and it just went right up inside there. I, it was a one in a million chance. What? No, I didn't put it in there. What are you talking about? Also, there's an RC car in my ass. Can you get that? It's a dangerous world we live in. Things can penetrate you at any corner. I still don't understand how shoving something inside your dick can be pleasurable. But at least he got away with it. He got that fork out of his dick and his dick has taken no damage. So if there's anything that we've learned from this story, it's that it's okay to shove a fork in your dick. So before I end this video, I just wanted to let you guys know about a new movie that's coming out called Terrible Angels. It comes out October 15th, and here's a clip. Ms. Grossel, you've been charged with possession of a controlled substance and two counts of child neglect. You understand the charges? So where was I? Where was I for two months? You offend the order of things. All you do is try and scheme and hustle. I've heard it a million times. I didn't do anything wrong. And I'm telling you the truth. It looks like a really good movie, and I've linked their Facebook page below my video in the description. So if you could do me a favor and click on that link and like their Facebook page and help them promote this movie, I would be internally grateful. So please, go click on the link and find out more info about Terrible Angels coming out October 15th.